Hi folks, I'm Ron Rosenstock and I've been leading tours to Morocco for I think 15 years at least and uh, I never get tired of going to Morocco. Some of the nicest people and it's the land of contrast. There's lots to see in Morocco and uh, I'm going to give you a kind of a brief introduction with this little video. I'm going to go right to screen share and uh, get going straight away. Share. I am screen sharing, hold on. There we go. Okay, here we are, Casablanca. This is taken right from my hotel window early in the morning. This is a photograph of the Hassan II Mosque. And it was sort of a misty, foggy morning. And uh, we have a tour of this mosque. It's just, it's an amazing mosque inside and out. And we spend uh, our first day in Casablanca photographing this wonderful mosque. Let me just do away with my little picture here. Okay, now this is taken inside. This was done, um, let me see, this is a very recent photograph. I made this just last uh, January, I believe. And this is on our tour that we get inside the mosque. And although I, I say it's a tour inside, um, I know the woman who does our tour, her name is Lemia, known her for years, and she knows we're photographers, so we could kind of spread out, but we just gotta keep an eye on where the main group is so, so we don't get totally lost. But we have a lot of flexibility of photographing on our own in this beautiful mosque. This is outside, uh, where we also have an, another hour or so to photograph outside around the mosque beautiful archways, the architecture is spectacular, the, the inlaid mosaic work is also phenomenal. And then the next day, we uh, head off to the Blue City, Chef Shawan, uh, on the, uh, the, the northern part of Morocco. It's totally blue, and uh, we get there in time to do a uh, kind of a walking tour, and then the next morning, we get there bright and early before there are people on the streets and we could photograph all the little alleyways and the architecture of this marvelous city. And, you know, you just never know what you're gonna find. Um, everything just seems to glisten with this blue color. And here's a, a dress shop, believe it or not, where they have these kaftans and jalabas. Now, uh, there are many artisans that we visit on this particular tour. And uh, this man is a potter in the, the pottery works in Fez where we um, also have a tour, but uh, I know, again, I know the woman who leads the tour and she knows that we're photographers, so she's very patient with us and uh, we could take our time and do as much photography as we want in this pottery works. Here's a, a, another artisan. Um, he's working with brass and he makes wonderful plates uh, and uh, teapots, all kinds of things out of brass. And it was his grandfather that made the doors on the king's palace and feds, the beautiful brass work. Here's a man chipping away at a little stone. Um, he does m mosaics. And um, you, won't, you wouldn't believe, uh, well, I'm gonna go to the next slide and you'll see. Okay, that's not a rug. That's all tiny little inlaid stones in the foreground with fountains in the background. So we get to photograph this workshop, we get to photograph the people, we get to photograph their products, and uh, we have plenty of time in there. Um, no one's pushing us uh, to move on. And uh, it's, it's just amazing when you think of the thousands of stones that go into making a piece like that in the foreground. Another place we visit, uh, the tannery in Fez. And this was built by the Romans before Christ. So it's, it's like over 2,000 years old. And uh, they, uh, they, they process, you know, raw hides and make them into the most incredible leather goods. So we could photograph them up here. And uh, then we have a chance to see some of the beautiful merchandise that they produce. These are leather hassocks that um, I enjoy photographing. You know, we're never pushed into purchasing. Um, and they know we're photographers and they pretty much leave us alone to photograph. Okay, um, well now I'm gonna sh show you a little bit of the Sahara, uh, another wonderful experience that we have. And here uh, was my last group. Um, early in the morning, we do a little camel ride through the dunes. 
you know, the Sahara is an amazing place. It's, it's not what I would call roughing it. Um, this lodge we stay in uh, has uh, air conditioned rooms, uh, all uh, private bathrooms. It's, uh, it's, it's not roughing it at all. It's, it's quite nice. In fact, they have some of the finest food in all of Morocco from the, uh, the what's called the Auberge de Soud, the place where we stay in uh, Morocco, in the village of Merzouga. And I'm going to show you some of the, just a few of the images I've done in black and white. I, I love photographing the dunes because it's a little bit like an ocean in slow motion. And uh, just the relationship of blacks and whites and gray tones just kind of all flow in a very gentle way. This was done with infrared, and um, which really accentuates the contrast. So there's just uh, unlimited photographic potential in the Sahara. We, uh, we spend a day in Marrakesh. Um, and this is taken in the, uh, the square, it's called Jamal Lufna. And um, we get there in time to see all the entertainers, the, the jugglers, the dancers, the, uh, the snake charmers, uh, um, the, the, the storytellers, uh, the, the, the people with the trained monkeys, etc., uh, etc., et musicians. And, and then around three in the afternoon, they clear away and around 3.30 or so, they set up all these little booths and, they ha and hibachis and they start cooking and you have all these food courts. So as, as the sun sets through the hibachi smoke, you get some really interesting photographs. Here we are, roughing it in Morocco. You know, roughing it is if they pour uh, water in your wine glass by mistake. Um, this is a uh, like a four-star hotel. It's actually a, an old ancient Casbah that's been totally restored. It's absolutely magnificent. One of my favorite places to stay, you know, in all of Morocco. And it's just on the edge of the Sahara, and just the most amazing experience you could possibly imagine. Every room is is like a, 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 like from a pasha's palace. This is just a fantastic place. What can I say? Um, this is part of, uh, this is one of my rooms actually in Fez where we stay in a wonderful hotel that's called the Yakut and in English it's the Pearl. And um, not all the rooms are as large but there are quite a few that are this large and um, if they're not this big they're certainly as elegant. I know many, many people in Morocco. Uh, you know, sometimes people say it's difficult to photograph people in Morocco. Well, not my friends. And I've been going there for so many years. I have many friends. This man's name is Taib, and he's uh, from a village of Tenerir. We've been going there for many, many years. Uh, Abdul Hadi, um, a man I've also known since he was a young boy. He used to go with us. He would uh, go with us through the oasis in, in Skora. And uh, we'd give him uh, a little bit of money, and he grew up and became a man. And I see him every now and then. And uh, my friend Aziz, and he's giving us some tea when we visit. It, and it's very traditional in Morocco, always to have tea served when you visit someone. And uh, there are many photographs of people serving us tea. And now, uh, no a visit to Morocco is complete without going to a rug shop. And here we have some women who are making rugs and they're very playful, very sweet women. And you see the woman in the back uh, has, um, a little tattoo on her chin and because she's a Berber woman from the countryside. Now this isn't done very much anymore, but the little tattoo kind of tells her history, you know, her family, her, her the region where she's from. Um, but years ago, all the Berber women had that little tattoo, but it's not done anymore. So here's a one quick shot of the rug shop from up above. And then we go off to Essaouira. We photograph early in the morning, in the docks before the boats go out, a fascinating area, never crowded, and we just have a place to ourselves. And um, we uh, kind of walk over to the ocean side and photograph the, the birds at sunrise, all the seagulls on the shore. And I'm gonna end this right here, but um, you're gonna have to come with me to see the rest of Morocco. It's just one of the most exciting places you could possibly imagine. I am going to uh, stop the sharing and go back to me. Hi there. Okay, so if you want more information about the Morocco trip, www.phototc.com. Okay, check that out. 
Uh, all the tours are listed there. If you click on the destinations, you'll see all the places that we go to. It's pretty amazing. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.